We are at Universal Studios Orlando, Islands of Adventure. Oh, we're not in, in Hollywood. No, we're not. But we came all the way over here to Hogsmeade because we want to try butterbeer. Yep. I say it now. We've never had butterbeer before. It's our first time. So it's going to be cool to see what it tastes like. There's two different flavors. Well, two different types, not flavors. There's frozen and cold. We got them both. And uh, I'm excited. Let's go do this. So here is the frozen one, and it's served with a straw, but the cold one they say is better to sip on. So exciting. Look at this view, nice too. You, thank you. Well, I think I'm gonna start with the cold butterbeer. Right there, cold butterbeer. I'm gonna taste it, I'm gonna sip it. No straw, just like they say. It's really good. It's very, very good. Okay, Hal. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go with the frozen one now. I tried the cold one and I don't wanna judge until I've tried them both, but look how frothy that is. Frothy, that's a cool word. But here we go. Mmm. It's hard to say, I don't know which one's better. I don't. If I had to choose, I would definitely go with the cold butterbeer. I don't know why. I don't like the frozen one as much. The cold one is actually really delicious to sip on. And if you're wondering what it tastes like, I would best describe it as a creamy cream soda. I think uh, that really hits the spot. It's like butterscotch and cream soda. That's it. Butterscotch and cream soda. Regardless, they both are pretty delicious and also pretty expensive because it costs $15 for both of them. Uh, I, I feel like that's a very high price. I mean, it's not beer beer. It's the price of beer. It's the price of a beer. Really but, butter beer. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing about the butter beer is definitely the squirrels. The squirrels make the butter beer so much better. Ah! You can get butterbeer in a couple different locations inside Hogsmeade. There's a butterbeer cart on the other side over here. There is a butterbeer cart right there. Well, that's actually a butterbeer barrel. That's kind of like a tongue twister. Butterbeer barrel, butterbeer barrel, butterbeer barrel, butterbeer barrel. And you can also get butterbeer inside of three broomsticks. Butterbeer barrel. Someone lost an article of clothing. <laughs> do, do. I don't even know what I should do with this. Oh. Hey man, I don't know where lost and found is, but someone dropped that. Thank you. Another option is you can get the Butterbeer souvenir mug and it costs $14. And then you get $1.50 refills on regular fountain drinks, but not butterbeer. You have to pay regular price after that. But it is a nice little little coffee or uh, cup there, isn't it? I like it. Now that we got ourselves all butterbeered up, I think we're going to go to Hogwarts and make... Was there something on my face? Yeah. Oh, Foam. thank you. Foam? Oh, you don't know nothing about that. What? Ah. Just look at this. Magnificent. Every time I see it. 
Wowee. There's so much going on in here. Perhaps some of our younger guests will wait to an hour long morning and find themselves some of the hot wars. Yes. I wish I were coming with you. Oh, come with us. Oh, come on. I think we lost our place to watch the show because we went and uh, <laughs> rode the ride. But look at all these people lined up. Holy moly. They got them all hurdled in there. Wow, look at the bridge. Wow. We've seen the show before. The castle does look beautiful, but uh, it's definitely not worth dealing with this right now. But on a second thought, when we seen everyone sitting down on the bridge, we thought since they all have to stand up, that maybe it'll open up some more room and we can slide on in onto the bridge. So we're gonna see how that goes. Might work, who knows? But as you can see, we are right next to Jurassic Park. This is our view. The castle is behind the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Once everyone does stand up, like this little crowd here is already standing up, but on the other side of them, all of them have to stand up. I'm pretty sure it's gonna move down. Hopefully. If not, we're gonna leave. <laughs> and just like that, the plan worked. Perfect view, look at that. Where's my wand? Wizards to dinosaurs, we are in Jurassic Park. Do you like the way I said it? Oh yeah. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park spirit jerseys too. They had Jurassic Park spirit jerseys. <laughs> I want one. You do? <laughs> I love Jurassic Park ride though. We got our own boat. Yep's taking the back, I'm taking the front. I had to take the hat off, but you're in the back. You're gonna get soaked. No, y'all gonna get soaked. No, you're gonna get soaked. No, you're gonna get soaked. That was a fail. So we tested it both, front row, back row. Uh, we're by ourselves. We're in the middle, and I am soaked, as you can tell, soaked. How you doing back there, yep? I'm just, I, I mean, I'm like dry, but I'm wet, you know? I'm soaked. Well, guys, sorry I couldn't show you all of the ride because uh, you are not allowed to film, I know that. Um, but uh, I did film a little bit just of us inside the boat, but I didn't want to show off any of the dinosaurs or anything like that. We can't film on the ride, but I can show you what it was like to get hit by that water. Oh, I hear the T-Rex. He's up there. So something should be coming down any second now. Any second now. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh yeah. The back row looked like it stayed dry. Huh, they left this unattended. Step right up, step right up. Shoot the hoop. Step right up. Wanna try your shot at a hand the ball? Step right up. Oh, wow. 
Step right up. Step right up. <laughs> Universal Adventure, get it? Yes. Universal Islands of Adventure. But uh, we had some butterbeer, we rode a bunch of rides. We actually rode five rides in an hour and a half. Yeah, I'm wet. Not yeah. like in a good way. So love the life you live. Love the life you love. We'll see you next time. Toodaloo. Toodaloo.